Hello artists, welcome back to the art room. This week we're going to be making snakes in the grass. Gives us a chance to practice some cutting, some pattern, and learn a little bit about weaving. The supplies you'll need are two pieces of paper. They can be scrap pieces of paper, little pieces. They could be a paper bag. Uh, they could be regular copy paper or notebook paper. You'll also need your colors, your scissors, and your glue. Go ahead and grab those supplies and we'll get started. We're gonna start by building the grass part of our design first. I'm gonna use green construction paper. Brown paper bag works too if you wanna take a piece of that. Or regular copy paper is fine too. It doesn't have to be a certain color. So go ahead and grab your sheet of paper or your bag. <laughs> We're gonna turn it vertical. That means that it goes up and down, like a door, not like a window, like a door. And we're going to fold the bottom up. So I'm gonna take the bottom part of my paper and I'm gonna fold it about halfway, not all the way to the top, just about halfway. There's a reason for that. I'll tell you about it in just a moment. And then across the top of the paper, I want you to draw a zigzag line. Up, down, up, down, up down, up, down. Let it go right off your paper. We're gonna cut right across the top of that line. I'm gonna take my scissors there and then turn my paper and cut down and turn my paper and cut up and turn my paper and cut down. And you guys get the idea. I'm gonna do this all the way to the other side. Remember if you need to pause the video at any time you can. All right, I've made the top of my grass and I've made the bottom of my grass folded up. All right, next we're gonna open this. We're gonna notice that we have a fold line here now, okay? We're gonna call this our stop line. Can you guys run your hand across it and say, stop? This is our stop line. We're gonna take each corner of our grass and we're gonna cut straight down all the way to our stop line and we're gonna say stop every time we get to it, okay? I'm gonna turn my paper this way. I'm gonna start right here where my grass goes down and I'm just gonna cut a straight or a vertical line until I get down to my stop line and I say stop. All right, I'm gonna go back to the next part and I'm gonna cut straight down until I get to the bottom and I'm gonna say stop and I'm gonna stop right there. This is giving us this look of grass. Stop, one more for me. You might have more zigzags on your paper and stop all right now we have our grass and this just kept us from cutting it all the way off the corner of our paper right all right we're going to leave our grass there for just a moment i want you to get your other sheet of paper this works really well if you have some scrap sheets of paper like i do left over from other projects we're going to cut out some shapes for our snakes next all right so grab one of your sheets remember plain paper is fine too if it's white or it has some lines on it that's okay we're gonna start by just cutting a strip of paper. You can cut it small, you can cut it big, but about medium size is probably best. All right, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut a curve on one end. Just like that. So now I have a curved end and a straight end. All right, my kindergartners, you can stop right there, but I think you guys could do this, give it a try. On the other end, not the end that I curved, but on the other end, I'm gonna put a dot in the middle. And now I'm gonna cut from the side all the way to the dot. Ready? I'm cutting a diagonal from the side all the way to the dot. There's another part starting to look a little bit more like a snake. It has a little bit of a line. And I could cut from my dot all the way to my side. There we go. A little bit more of a, a snake shape. Here's another way that we could do this. So here's another sheet of paper. I'm going to cut a curved line at the top. I'm gonna add my dot to the bottom. This time I'm gonna cut a wavy line. All the way to the bottom. And I could do it from the other side too. I can cut a wavy line. This might make it look like your snake is wiggling through the grass. Your choice, either way. Go ahead and cut out four snakes, four or five, your choice. All right, and next we're gonna start to color them in. Let's see, I already have some cut here. 
There's several different ways that you could color your snakes in. You could make up a pattern, or you could do a realistic pattern. I have a picture here. I, I don't know how realistic these are, but it's kind of fun to see all the different colors and patterns. And then maybe eyes. Your choice. You could put just two ovals. I like to put a black line in them, kind of like that long slit that snakes have in their eyes. And if you want to, you could add a little tongue. I just took a piece of my scratch paper and made a little tiny rectangle. And then I just cut a triangle out of the end. A little bit of glue and on the back there we go all right so we have our snakes and we have our grass we are going to practice weaving i want you to choose one of your snakes to start we're going to do this part together i'm going to start with my yellow snake we're going to lay him on top of the grass so this first blade of grass right here he's going to be on top but when he gets to the next blade of grass we're going to lift it up He's going to hide behind it so he's on top and he's behind let's make a pattern out of it so he's going to be on top behind so next would be on top on top behind on top behind on top behind on top behind on top we have we have been able to weave our snake through the graph all right let's choose a different one this time since we started on top this time, let's have this one start behind. So he's gonna be hiding behind the grass and then he's gonna come out and be on top. So we're doing another pattern. Behind, on top, behind, on top, behind. We'll have to let him come all the way out the side so that he matches. When you weave like this, you'll find that you start to make kind of this checkerboard look on the top. If you're not making a checkerboard, maybe you accidentally missed a piece of grass. All right, here, watch me do this. And you guys tell me when I get to a point and I mess up, okay? You can say stop, okay? All right, I'm gonna start with him on top and I'm gonna go behind, on top, on top, behind. Uh-oh, did you guys catch it? I missed one. I went on top twice. I should go on top, behind, on top. This snake should have gone behind. All right, see if you can catch my mistake again. Ready? I'm going to start behind, and he's going to be on top all the way across, and then he's going to be hiding. <laughs> that works, but I missed several blades of grass when I did my weaving, right? So if I go behind, on top, behind on top behind then i'm able to make this checkerboard pattern again with my snakes you could keep going you could add more snakes to the top now one thing about this is that our snakes could fall out if we pick up our grass i have a solution for that very carefully maybe with some help you could flip your snakes over on the back and you could take any piece of extra paper maybe this one where we cut out the jagged lines and we're just gonna glue it on the top. Now when I flip my paper over, my grass will stay all together. This is pretty fun because you could do it over and over. You could take your snakes out and you could weave them back through again. You could have somebody else in your family try weaving, see if they can weave the snake through the grass too. Maybe you could make different patterns. What if you went on top, behind two, on top, behind two, on top? That would be kind of cool too. It would change your pattern out here too. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week.